Hello everybody, this video is gonna be something special. First of all, everything's new. New haircut, and you will see, not new here yet, but at least a new haircut. And I'm gonna show you something other new in a little bit. Just let me adjust the camera slightly. Yes. I'm wearing Italy shirt, which is not, um, how to say, not the best shirt to wear with the team that I'm looking at, but it provides the best contrast. I actually want to talk about, and you have already clicked on the video, so you know what I'm talking about, the Brazil 93-95 shirts. And this here is actually the third soccer shirt that I ever got. And if you look at it, you see, you can spot immediately, yes, this is not exactly the shirt. Uh, first of all, what's that? Tro. Well, this is Tro of Austria. This was an Austrian company that made in the 90s some um, soccer replica shirts. And actually they did over a pretty decent job. I remember this one looked so close to the original that I just had no chance of not buying it uh, because it was also relatively cheap. I don't remember the price, but I know it was um, a reasonable price. And I got it in 94, right after the World Cup. And at the time, you know, I had an Italy shirt. I really wanted to get the Brazil shirt because Brazil convinced me at this World Cup. This was probably the only World Cup where I really said, yeah, Brazil, you're convincing me. And of course, it had this oddity. If you look here at the crest, the crest, of course, has the four stars because it was issued after the World Cup. However, the pattern here has the three crests as similar to how, how they appeared on TV, but only with the three stars. And I know we all knew that it was four stars, so I always thought this is my transitionary uh, shirt. But at a first glance, if you take away this, it looked actually quite well. And even the material, you know, have the stripes here, you have the pattern here. It looked all right, and I have been even wearing it as Brazil. Here, even on the back, it has the Brazil. However, I always wanted to have the original. Ideally, I wanted to have it with a Romari on the back, but we know that this is really hard to come by. Um, and I saw the jerseys. When you go on classic football shirts, which, which is a fabulous site. I love this page uh, to buy old soccer jerseys. Uh, those run for quite some. I mean, this is 80 pounds or up. Uh, a decent, a good copy. A good uh, replica, the original Umbro. So I always said, yeah, this is one when I have a lot more money, then I will probably replace this one. However, I went the other uh, two weeks, three weeks ago. I was selling a few things on a local flea market page and then I said, well, let's see if someone is selling soccer jerseys. And then I see a Brazil 93 shirt for 19 euros. I had to look at the picture, the two pictures that they were up there two or three times and verify our classic football shirts and some other pages. Is this the real deal? Yes, turns out it is the real deal. Two weeks later, and this is even more amazing than 19 euro, I asked the owner of the, or the seller, is this shirt still available? Yes, it is still available. I actually was going for a Messi 2010-11 shirt first, which was sold there for 30 bucks, which was already gone. The second in line was this bad boy. This is the original Umbro, and it's in amazing condition. I got it yesterday and of course you don't see the pattern as nicely as before but if you look closer you can see it. Yes I'm gonna make it shine here. Uh, this is an absolute beauty. Yes there is some wear to the crest you can see it has been washed a little bit so it is a little bit wrinkly. If you look closer at the color you can see yes it's an old shirt and it, just for a comparison I seemingly have been taking a little bit better care, but this is all polyester. So this is a lot clearer. This color here, it has actually quite some cotton in there. It's actually a cotton color. So that makes it even cooler in my eyes. 
Then of course you see the patterning here, you have the Umbra diamonds going all around, saying Brazil here. And of course CBF. We go to the replica, there are no Umbra diamonds, it's just a yellow band and there's no CBF. I knew about the CE CBF but it never really looked to me like those are Umbra diamonds, but yeah now it makes a lot more sense. And then of course the crest. Um, it's much better quality. Look at the original. Look at the fake. I mean, the yellow outline and the general shape just doesn't look right. Um, but if you look, for instance, on, on the back, there is this diagonal shadow striping that the other shirt has a little bit more um, prominently featured, but it's featured on here as well. And the other thing is that the sleeve cuffs on this one you can see it's the same material it's just um green pinstripe around on the fake one it's the same polyester material as this color i am so happy i have this shirt it's an absolute beauty um i have to say when i got it i inspected it immediately it had a little stain right on this cbf crest that i actually could remove quite easily it had a little bit of a smell to it because seemingly the household where this was hold was a smoking household so i kept it outside yesterday all night and i washed it this morning and now uh, it is washed it is in perfect condition uh, for a jersey that is from 93 uh, the owner said this he got it in 93 so one year ahead of the World Cup, almost. Although I think the shirt was was released prior to it was released prior to the World Cup. But I think it was, if it was released in '93, uh, it should have been uh, towards the end of '93 because I know there's a '91, '93 shirt by Umbro that I actually also like quite some by Brazil. But if you look at this, this is just a beauty. I can stare at this forever. I saw another nice detail. I have to make those shine again. There you see the shadow pattern. Yes, look at the three crests that are in there. The first one, you can only see the single star here. The second one, you can only make out the two stars. And then the third one has them all. Uh, <laughs> there are umbra diamonds all over in the shadow pattern. Maybe the only thing, the only thing that I always a little bit regret is that the Umbra logo is cutting through its pattern. But do you see this, this, this star? How it is in the diamond. There are so many details to this one. I'm absolutely in awe of this shirt. There is one downside though that actually bothers me. This is the, this was actually a, there's a tag on the bottom and it's in red. Official. Official licensed pro football product, but yeah, it's a just a minor thing. Of course, the Umbro tag was is in blue, which I have on my other Umbro shirts that I had from the nineties. They're also in blue, so yeah. Fortunately, no Romario back there, but I think I think you can buy this one, but I have to see. If I could get this with a Romario, then. That would be even perfect. This is perfect. And now this replaces the other one. The other one, I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm not gonna give it away because this is my third ever soccer shirt and I'm actually quite proud of uh, that I had it. I have good memories attached to it, but compare fake versus real. Ah, this, was, this one wins out every single time so this is my first replacement jersey and i cannot be, i still cannot believe 19 euros for this one the guy who sold it to me had no idea how much this is worth this is in super condition it's absolutely in super condition uh mind-boggling to me that i got this one uh i have this hanging uh next to my bed more or less and in the morning i can already look at it uh it's such a beauty i'm really I'm really so proud of this one. You cannot believe how happy I am to have this jersey. 
Well, let me know if you have any good memories with that jersey. 94 World Cup. This is now my first official 94 World Cup jersey and makes it already the third oldest in my collection, although it's the most recent one. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, any memories attached to it? Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon. Bye.